hi there today we are going to talk about the power supply for your autonomous robot okay uh, so if you have been to any competitions you will be knowing that uh, there are two kinds of power supply for allowed for an autonomous autonomous robot okay one is off board power supply that is you can have your power supply is coming from any plug point to your robot or another is on board power supply so we will be talking about off board power supply and on board power supplies for off board power supply you can take the help of ac power supply okay it is an ac power supply you just uh, get uh, let's say you have a, your robot here and you have ac plug port here you just plug it to a rectifier this is a standard rectifier which you will get in any electronic shop and uh, this will start 20 volt ac or 150 volt ac to around 12 volt of dc Okay. it will give you 12 volt output of DC which you can use for your robots motors etc okay your another alternative is using an onboard power supply okay that was off board power supply so now on board power supply if you are gonna use on board power supply you will be using DC batteries like this 12 volt lead acid battery this one is quite heavy but it gives you around 1 ampere of current output okay let's say uh, you have your robot here and you have your 12 volt battery which is a 12 volt dc direct current battery placed on your robot but you might be knowing that all your logical components or all your microcontroller unit or logic unit or all your sensors like line sensors or optical sensors etc will be working at the standard logic voltage of 5 volts okay the standard logic voltage of 5 volts is what is required for all that so you will have a dilemma of what to do from how to get your voltage step down from 12 volt dc to 5 volt dc right so don't worry about that because you have a simple ic this is a simple ic the ic number is 7805 all you have to do is it is a low cost ic 7805 uh, i will write the ic diagram here all you have to do is give a 12 volt dc plus and minus to the ic this is the ic you have three pins for the ic and just give 12 plus 12 volts here and this is the ground point and the ic will give you plus 5 volts so wasn't that so easy just put a low cost and a very reliable 7805 ic to get a reliable dc power supply for your robot you can additionally use capacitors here just to uh, just short the capacitor leads to uh, this or this output and this one to give you a noiseless dc output for very low cost and a very reliable value. one okay and uh, the capacitor value can be of anything like uh, 0.47 microfarad that is an electrolytic capacitor or anything that you wish okay <coughs> so that was about the power supply for your robot for a complete tutorial series on this please visit our site neurogoody.com thank you